Hi, I'm Hakim. Welcome to my home studio. Today I'm going to show you how to connect the Yamaha DD75 into the computer. So, let's get started. First option, prepare the Y cable which is a quarter inch stereo to left and right mono. The purpose is to route an audio signal from phone's output of DD75 into the audio interface input 1 and input 2. Once you complete the first two steps, I'm going to show you the DAW that I'm working with which is Logic Pro X. But you can still use any DAWs that you're strongly familiar with. For now, click File, choose New for a new project. As the pop-up option appears, select Audio. Press the audio input to set input 1 and 2 as a track of stereo and finally click Create. As we are about to start recording, Please enable R button to engage the source of recording signal and I button for input monitoring so that you can hear yourself performing during the session. Next, adjust the volume knob from DD75 to send the audio signal to your DAW. Scroll through and choose one of your favorite drums presets. Lastly, the final step. While adjusting gain controls of input 1 and input 2, observe the gain level of a track from your DAW to prevent a signal from clipping on the output. Here's the overall result where the drummer performs on different components of a drum kit with the feel of depth and width. So let's begin. Second option, prepare a 5P MIDI cable. As MIDI differs entirely from an audio signal recording, it is a form of communication protocol that creates musical languages between two or multiple sources from digital programs to electronic devices. Once you connect the port to MIDI out from DD75, the data from MIDI out will be the source where you need to connect the other port on MIDI in through an audio interface. For the simple terminology of a MIDI performance, when the musical note is being hit from MIDI out, that's where the data shall be sent to MIDI in which will generate the sound of musical instrument. Again, create a new project but select the software instrument and choose Drum Kit Designer. Also, ensure that the track is in stereo to hear the actual sound of a whole drum kit. After you create the MIDI track, please enable R button to engage the source of MIDI's recording performance and on the tracks channel strip, press the plugin of drum kit to scroll through which drums that you're going to choose before you hit the record button. The coolest feature about MIDI is that if you're not satisfied while recording your performance, you can choose to change and adjust different sound of the drums later after the end of your session. Without further ado, here's the overall example where the drummer performs on different components of a drum kit in the form of MIDI. Well, that's it. Have fun. Thanks for watching. If there's any questions, you may leave your comments in the description below.